my channel. So today we're going to Katowice with my aunt to explore around. I'm not sure honestly where we're going, but we will see. Uh, the weather is not the best, it's cold, gloomy and grey, but we're still gonna make the best of it. It cannot get worse than it was in Krakow, so I am staying hopeful. at Nikishovitz, which is a very old neighborhood in Katowice. This neighborhood is super old, like I saw a sign that something was created in 1990. So this neighborhood was built before the Second World War II and in this neighborhood miners used to live. So, so basically these are old miner houses which you can feel it, like there is certain feel to this neighborhood, like I feel sad and nostalgic and like you miss someone I don't know even if the weather was better I think we'll have the same feel to it we went to a gift shop which was like the coolest gift shop I went to the design like the seller there was so into everything and he was telling us stories that if I didn't go there I wouldn't know about
is two days later when you last saw me that day I had more plans but it started raining and the rain was very heavy so we decided to just go home and we made some pizza yesterday it was a chill day I was home almost the whole day it was cold I just did some work and after we went on a one hour walk but it was dark so I didn't film anything and now I'm going out to buy some things I need a phone case and there's a store that my aunt told me to check out Czysto e, na telefon na iPhone 7? Hey, so I got my case. I exchanged some money to from Euro to what, and now we're gonna go to that shop which is here. There's a bluebird that lives in my front yard He comes and he goes but he's never very far away I wonder if he's noticed me Watching his movements from the porch And now that the renovation's over I hope he is not so I end up finding nothing. I didn't like anything in the store. After that, I went to the bakery to see if they have a specific cake. They didn't. Said again, but it's fine. Now I'm on my way back home, and we're gonna make some lunch. Back to business as usual. I can watch the sun rise over the mountain. So it is the next day. Yesterday, I just spent the day making pierogi, then we eat them, and then I just chill and do some edit. I didn't leave the house. And yes, I'm wearing the same outfit because it's cold and I didn't bring any warm clothes with me. They are all in my grandma's. Today, we're going back to my grandma's for a day. I'm gonna go there, see some family members for the last time. Then tomorrow, I will be back here, like around four, pack and leave for the airport. My days in Poland are finishing and I'm quite sad about it. But anyways, so we're gonna go to the train station, take a train. There were no direct trains, so we have to go to Opole and from Opole have like eight minute wait for the next train and then go to Nisa to be at my grandma's. From this bed every morning as I Blackberries are out of control This hillside used to be an apple orchard At least that's what we've been told I hope that's something that we can restore And out back we've got a maple tree Maple tree It's the most beautiful red In a landscape of yellows and greens Yellows and
So I arrived at my grandma's and I have to say this whole ride here was insane like the train the first one was five minutes late and I need to take two trains and one bus to get here on my way there I just took one train to get back you have to take two I don't know how this works but it does anyway so the first one was five minutes late and not only that the train station that I was about to get off had like workers there they were fixing stuff so it was delayed more and and there was no way we would made it to the other train but my aunt just ran to <laughs> the guy there and asked him to contact the other train so they can wait he did and they said they're gonna wait so we arrived we were running like crazy i have my bag and my suitcase the small one that i took with me and we run there to the other train and we got in and I felt like I was dying. <laughs> like my lungs hurt. We got to the other train station and the other train station, they were also having work done. So the bus station was in a different place. So we didn't make it to the bus. So we needed to wait like 10 minutes for the other bus. We got here, the bus ride was next level. The driver drove like a crazy person <laughs> at one point i almost fell out of the seat if i didn't hold myself to the seat i would be on the floor we safely i don't know how but we safely arrived uh walked to my grandma's i ate some lunch do some errands and now i'm gonna wait for my aunt who came and then I'm gonna go to my other aunt I need to say goodbye to everyone so it will be very family involved night tomorrow I have some things to buy from my parents then I'm gonna go back to my aunt there is a cat in this natural habitat hello how are you doing? Tell us your words. Yeah, yeah, you're scared. Okay. Goodbye, cat. The day that I was leaving, I got kind of close to that cat. He does not like physical contact. And I was trying to get close to him the two weeks I was here. Uh, the last day, I managed to pet him and I left. And now he doesn't want to come to me again. Sadly, it's fine. Hello and good morning. Welcome to my last day in Poland, where now I'm heading out to town to get some things done, just to finalize some last errand I have to make, which means I need to buy some stuff for people. And um, let's say I am afraid of my luggage because there's no way I have 20 kilograms only and I will probably have to buy more. Anyways, let's go! Ryan Little <laughs> So I did all the shopping, I'm done, and now I'm gonna go home and pack, and hopefully, I don't know how it's gonna go. safe and sound uh, didn't feel much because the last couple of hours in Poland a day last day maybe it was a mess 
<laughs> so when you last saw me I was getting ready to go to my aunt in Zabrze so my aunt and uncle drove me there with my cousin we spent a couple of hours at my aunt's house say all the goodbyes and after that it was time for me to pack my things I had a 20 kilo bag this one over here and um, I realized that I bought too many stuff so that was the first problem that happened which days leading up to the packing I was thinking I may have a bit too much but then I, when I saw everything I was like yeah that's not gonna work but I solved that quite quickly because I went on the website and upgraded my luggage to 32 kilograms the only problem was if it's going to fit and if my bag is going to break so it took us a couple hours a lot of struggle a lot of sitting on the back closing it but it fit this this bad boy over here fit 33 kilograms and it didn't break we landed uh, we had to do a covid test the cyprus airport picks flights randomly and makes the passengers every single passenger take a test doesn't matter if you have it with you you have to take it it was quick and now i'm home uh spent a couple of days here unpacked so my friends uh, chill a bit and I will be heading out again soon on another adventure I'm going back to Greece I don't know when yet because I didn't buy tickets but I have to go but that was it I really hope you enjoy the Polish vlogs uh, I had like the best time ever I was kind of sad leaving uh, it was fun but unfortunately that was it but don't worry there will be fun videos coming up and i'll see you in the next one uh, bye